this out. This is an experiment I tried this year. Worked great. Um, it's called a queen castle. And this is all it is. And the reason it's called the queen castle is because it's all about the queen. I thought I'd try it this year because uh, I wanted to raise some new queens. And the reason for that was because I wanted to potentially requeen a colony or two. Um, I also just wanted to maybe expand my apiary. And, and also it was just a really great experiment. So I recommend you try it, it's super easy. Um, I made this queen castle myself. I don't have the proper woodworking tools really, um, but uh, just made it work and it's, it's a little bit ghetto, but it does the job. Check it out. It's got a plywood roof cut into three pieces. Very simple, very simple. Uh, this particular unit here, I have three sections. Some have four. Uh, it's, I decided to go with three so that I could have um, three frames in each component. Um, that way, it just gets a little more space because this is actually a medium-sized box. So a lot of people that have the deep size boxes would uh, would use those instead and, and maybe run four sections with two frames in each section, and those would be deep frames. So, but these are these are mediums, and I went with three. Uh, you can see on this side we have um, some ventilation holes, and then on each side of the box there are holes drilled near the bottom just for an entrance for each one of those components. So pretty simple design. Um, there's tons of uh, variations on the on the internet you can look up. This one here, this type one is really cool. We'll go into a bit more detail as well, but I just cut one of these uh, real estate signs up into this sort of the shape of a frame and just use that as a divider. And it works pretty well. So two out of three sections uh, produced a viable queen. So I thought that was pretty good. So next year I'm gonna do this again and probably create a few more. This is the Queen Castle up close. You can see it has just a regular size box, medium sized box. I drilled holes on the top and lined them with hardware cloth here, just for ventilation. And this one's bigger just because I used a bigger drill bit and decided after I didn't need it that big and used a smaller one for the other two components. On each side, we have an entrance, one for this side, one for that side, and one for that side. This one's taped off just because I, uh, I was doing something with it, but that would not be taped off, obviously. Now if we go and look inside. So what I did actually, just point this out real quick, is I added these little Velcro bits here. Just bought them at the hardware store. And these connect here and kind of make it, um, make those sections just um, fit in there nicely. So the, the roof stays on essentially. If we take these sections off, you can see that there's these dividers. Nothing fancy, you can see it's even a little bit um, bowed and kind of bending, but it doesn't even really matter. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect in my experience. Um, once you have the little roof sections on, it actually straightens those uh, dividers up anyway. And these are just old real estate signs that I cut into this shape. And I just kind of measured it and, and, and played with it until it fit in there nicely or as nice as I could get it. All right, so then you just place your, your uh, frames in there. One frame with queen cells in each section. And then I put two frames of resources. So one frame of, of like nectar or honey, another frame of a uh, mixture of nectar and empty space and uh, some pollen. So the bees went to town and produced two queens at least out of three. And I've got a couple of decent colonies out of it. So I'm happy and it was a success.